All right, so today we're going to uh, go over some uh, picture I was working on earlier. Um, you can see we got Chad Mendes, uh, Money Mendes, I think he's called. Um, I don't know for some reason I like I like doing pictures with with uh, either short midgets or baby uh, bodies with uh, adult heads. I don't know why it's just a thing of mine. Uh, plus, I think it's it's kind of funny. And it's not that offensive, or at least it's not intended to be. But you're gonna have to ask the people, uh, you know, who are in them if they're offended. Anyway, enough talking about that. So I got the two pictures side by side. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, obviously, the head, and I'll take I'll take some of the the neck area of Chad as well. So basically, his face and his uh, part of his neck. Um, if he happened to be wearing the same type of shirt, if the child had like a um, a shirt like this, I could actually even take um, the collar part as well, just take the whole neck and head area. But I'm gonna take that. Um, I already made, uh, I already had done this earlier, so I brought it into this, and I uh, I moved him on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out the Chad, the original picture here because we don't really need it anymore, and we're gonna focus on this. I'm going to zoom this in so we see what I'm working with. Um, what I like to do, I like to duplicate the background right off the bat just because in case I ever need it to go back, um, here's like an untouched, and I'll, I'll just hide it. It's an untouched original. Um, I have Chad's head in the general area. Um, I want him to kind of be looking up as if he's not trying to look, trying to look through the steering wheel into the dash, uh, to the windshield. So that's why I just, I have his head here, and I just adjusted it, um, you know, to be looking up. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, for a second, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide him completely. I'm going to focus on the, the original picture. And if you see right here, there's a little of the, the child uh, kind of peeking through right, right in this area. So what I'm going to do just to be safe is I'm going to hide the head. I'm going to make a copy of the the shirt the collar um, I may take some of his neck uh, to the other side here and this whole area here you don't have to be that particular about it because it's gonna blend right into the original so you don't really have to line it up too much and I'm just gonna make a copy I'm using a Mac um, so you window folks uh, I'm sorry because uh, I don't know all the the translation but uh, I'm going to make a duplicate copy. So with the Mac, it's a uh, Command J. All right, so when I hide it, we just got what I took. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that as well. And I'm going to focus on, I want to hide the, the child's, this part of the head that we had seen earlier. So I'm going to uh, use my clone. The clone is one of my favorite tools. Uh, the clone, I'm, I'm starting to use this patch tool. The patch tool is pretty cool too. But um, let's uh, make some copies here. Just kind of. Anytime you go to an area, uh, like like say like how this is lighter over here, uh, like the armrest area of the the door, um, just pay pay attention to that kind of stuff in case you ever have to extend further. Um, again, it it doesn't have to be a hundred percent accurate, and that's okay. But you know. The more realistic it, it can look, the better. Um, I'm gonna actually going to leave it like this. It's not really that clear, but I want to show you this patch tool. So on the original, the, the layer that we're working on, which is this whole picture right here, I'm going to grab, because I want to bring it over here. So I have it to set to uh, the actual destination as opposed to the source. And we're going to move it over here. Grab just an area, just kind of slide it over. Okay. See, it picked up some of the head, that's why it's light. So, you know, I'm just gonna try not to use so much of that, just kinda gradually go over, gradually go over. See, so it makes it look a little cleaner. A little cleaner than the original. I don't see how much of his head. All right, so we got, we got a majority of the head that I don't need. What I will keep though, the top part of the child's hair this hairline area, I'm gonna keep that because maybe I can blend it into to Chad's and give it a little more realistic look to it. 
All right, so now to Chad. With Chad, what we're going to do is I'm going to minimize or uh, lower the opacity of, the, of his picture so I can see what I'm kind of working with, what's underneath here. Um, I'm not going to bring his head. I'm not really going to make his head so much smaller that it blends in with the child like I've, I've done before. Um, I want to kind of keep almost his head pretty much, you know, not so much the exact shape that it is. I, I will have to shrink it down a little, but just just bring it down just a bit. So, um, you know, with the transform tool, I'm just going to minimize this just a bit. Okay. So, so you can see where I am here. And I want to get the child's neck area involved. That's why I have this here. So that's good to me. I think that's pretty decent. I mean, it's a starting point. We can always adjust. And that's the thing with this. You're always going to find things that you can fine tune or, you know, you want to go back on and, you know, adjust. And that's fine. That, that's part of the process. You know, it just depends on how, how much you want to get done, how much you want to have, how much time you want to spend, really. You know, I have a little time to spare, so I'm going to maybe spend a little more time than I probably than I should but um, now as you can see here see I have the child's eyebrows and part of his forehead still in this picture behind Chad's head so uh, I will keep Chad's head here but I make sure you're on this the original layer that you want to take from and um, I'm going to use the, cl the clone stamp okay and just finish up the area here just so I can get more than enough you know in case I ever have to come back now there's some of the child's cheek here, and that's that's fine. What I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna grab his shirt, and I'm gonna try and try and get it exactly in line with the the dark line of the armrest, because once you find an area and you move, it's it's kind of gonna stay in uh, in tow with everything. It's not gonna, you know, you don't have to adjust things as much as maybe, you know, if you normally would have to if you kind of just keep it roughly in the area, okay? So now, again, that's a that's decent. Again, I'm, I'm going for decent. I'm not going for perfect because you drive yourself crazy trying to be perfect. I mean, it's a stupid, you know, it's it's a it's just going to be a silly Photoshop. It doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to unless you're presenting it, unless you're going to try and sell it. I don't sell any of this stuff. I just do it for the hell of it. So to me, I don't care that much how it, the end result looks as long as it's more believable than not. So okay, back to back to his head now. Originally, I said I was gonna use some of his the child's hairline or hair in with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the opacity of my brush up up top here. Okay. Now, as you can see, my hard the hardness of the brush is very important. I very rarely will use anything more than 18% unless I need a legitimate definition between the lines like otherwise I want it lower I want it either 0 to you know 18 or 20 because that way you can kind of feather things a little better and it doesn't look so choppy the opacity here is what's important also because that's how much is gonna it's gonna take so what I did was I made him a layer a layer mask We're using this right here okay and now anything I do with this using the brush with the black color will act as an eraser and if you reverse it and the white is on top that you're bringing back anything you took I prefer this over the eraser because the eraser is just that it erases everything else can be exactly the same but once unless you're saving it as you go it you know you, you're gonna lose a lot of things after so many steps after so many you know um, you know times you try and uh, bring it back at least with this you can always adjust it so I'm going to just start coloring in. I'm calling it coloring in, but I'm really erasing. All right, so I'm not trying not to confuse anybody. All right. See, and what I prefer to do is I like to go in the opacity. I like to bring the opacity back and color in as I get closer to, oops, closer to the, uh, the head or, you know, I, I don't want it to be too much like the more you take away from it you know and you blend it down so you're taking away less and less and it, it does a couple things number one I know I'm keeping his head here so I really don't have to play with it and, and bring it back but I could if I needed to again like I said by using the mask and I, and I may 
you know, it all depends on what the, the final result looks like. But see up here, near his hair, there's a little white, a fine white line. All right, I'm gonna bring my opacity all the way up because I wanna get rid of that. I'm gonna bring the size of my brush down and I'm gonna, see? So the further out I take more and, the, and the, when I get in closer to the, the photo, then I'll take away less, if that makes any sense. But around like the whole edge, I want to take around as much, take out as much as I can, and I want the opacity to be a hundred percent around there. Okay. So I'm going to bring the opacity of the picture is only at eighty-eight percent, but just to see where I am. So when I bring him back in full opacity, you can see what I've done so far, and it's still an area here where I want to remove more. So I'll keep the opacity of the picture up. But the you know, and the brush will be also 100%. So I can kind of get an idea of where I, what I'm removing here. Okay. Okay. So I have that. The next thing I did is remember before I had taken a copy of that the neck area of the picture. All right. So here it is. I brought it on top. Obviously, it looks. You know, I'm gonna have to do some some changing on this. Um, but the good thing about this is with the, op the opacity of this down, I can actually adjust Chad's picture instead of to, to see how much I want to take out. So I'm, I'm going to go back to Chad. Make sure your uh, the erase on the, the mask is set to black. And I'm just going to start erasing him. All right. Now, someone that has a beard or any kind of lining around the chin to neck area, don't try not to remove too much of it unless you're really going for a, a significant blend. I mean, I'm you know I'm blending an adult into a child, so it's like see right here under his ear, under chat. Well, actually, under Chad's neck is the child's ear. See, that's what this little area right here is. So what I'm going to do now is with this picture intact, okay. I'm gonna make a duplicate again. I'm gonna use my clone. I'm gonna get a selection of area that I need here. And the thing with with this, like a pattern of some kind, try and get as close to the pattern as you can without driving yourself crazy. You know, don't don't you know, don't kill yourself trying to do it, but you know, as much of the pattern you can repeat without it looking too too sloppy would be good. Alright? So I got chat here. Alright. Now I'm gonna bring the opacity. Right, let me see what we got here. All right. Again, a lot of this is just trial and error. I mean, it, it, it's it's possible to do everything great on the first step, the first run through, and whoops. And uh, you know, congratulations if you're one of those people. I'm not. Um, I'm I'm not that. You know. Sometimes I just I just play around a little. You know. Again, like I said earlier, it depends on how much time and how how much quality you're looking for, you know. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove his head for a second, and although I have this this picture here, okay, I really don't need what I I, I really don't need this. I don't need this really anymore because I already got kind of what I what I needed. Um, I can erase it or I can kind of hang with it. It just depends. Um, what I may do because I like the way it, it kind of looks I may just take the collar area here of the original picture that I took okay again command J make a copy of that okay and I may just use that so I don't even need the original that I had taken I'm just gonna I'm gonna use that little that little piece and I'm gonna throw this other one in the trash because it's really unnecessary uh, the other thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna save it because I hadn't done that yet, and I just gave it a, a name right now. So I'll just that way in case I lose anything I can go back. All right. So now here's his here's the neck area, the collar area. I just made a copy of. I'm gonna continue it. Okay. Just kind of hide it. I'm gonna hide Chad's head, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the child's hair because we don't. I really don't want his his ear in the picture. 
Okay, this doesn't really this doesn't have to be so perfect because like I said, I'm just I'm just hiding it. I just actually really just need to hide this area right here behind Chad. So it looks like kind of almost looks like Chad's hairline in the back there is behind his hair. Um, but again, it's all it's all how you how much time you want to put into it and you know the end result. All right, I think this is you know it could be better, but I'm I'm not unhappy with it. You know, so what I'll do is I'll try and take a little more hair off his neck and utilize the child's neck from the original picture. Now, now I'm going to make sure my hardness is a little higher, okay? Just a little, because I, I want to, I really want this neckline to be good. I don't want, I don't want a feathered look over there. I want it to kind of be, you know, you can start out back and kind of work your way in. I'm using a tablet, by the way. Um, I have a, a Wacom tablet. It's an older one, but it's adequate. And I also obviously have the mouse. So I'm using actually I'm utilizing both hands um, for the drawing. I'm using this, but when I any selection I'm making, I'm using my the mouse. All right. So now I'm going to grab the little bottom collar under under his chin of the child on the, the original layer, and I'm just going to stroke. I go up, I'm gonna stroke up here, all right. Just, just again. It's a pattern. It's a repeating pattern, so you can kind of blend it in with other areas. Um, that's that should be a little darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna erase that area. I'm gonna zoom it in. Okay. And now with my opacity, I'm actually gonna go to a lower opacity on the clone on the stamp. Well, I'm, yeah, on the clone stamp. Um, just kind of get, get it the best you can, okay? All right, so that's, that's good. Always save things, you know, as you're working along, because um, it, it just helps just in case. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is behind his ear, it's a little sloppy here. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna keep the hardness there. Make sure the, the brush is 100%. I'm gonna try and just color around his ear just to give it a little, make it a little. Oh, see, see this is actually black, and the reason is is because I was on him instead of the mask. So there we go. Always make sure your mask is selected and not the photo. See right there. Okay. So now. touch up other areas on the face. What I try to do is I try to work on one thing at a time. I know I'm, I was at the neck, I was at the face, but that's kind of part of it because I want to make sure that in case I have to adjust to anything, I don't want to get too much on one layer if I have to manipulate another layer, which you know could in fact affect another one. So, all right, so he's good there. Now, the next thing I want to work on is the coloring of the face, of Chad's face, because as you can see, the original picture, he has more of like a yellowish tone. This is all trial and error, okay? There's no rhyme or reason behind this. What I like to do is I like to use, um, again, in an Apple, I'm gonna hold down the Alt button. I'm gonna grab these uh, these fills, all right? Um, and again, this is where you have your fun. This is where you can really adjust and, and make changes. Um, I will start with the color balance. Now, while holding the Alt down and selecting it, Always want to check this when you, especially with the first time you're using any kind of fill on a layer. All right. So basically, what this means is by holding that down and selecting this, you're only affecting the layer that you want to work on. If I didn't hold down that Alt key and I selected one of these over here, it's going to affect the whole picture from top to bottom. So that's just something. Well, actually, anything below this area. I'm sorry, not the whole, but anything below that. But this is just going to affect when you see this little arrow it's only affecting what you're working on so now it's just a matter of you know trying to trying to find a color that may work and this the more artistic you are or the more knowledge you have with Photoshop the more you can really you can really 
you know, top notch, be top notch with this. I don't have all that. I'm just kind of, I'm winging it. So um, I just mess around, you know, the best that I can, and I just see wh where I can make my adjustments. Okay. Now with this one, all right, I'm gonna because the I'm gonna go back a little because this seems like it has somewhat of a saturation to the original picture, not overly. I'm gonna adjust the saturation of Chad's face. Should have shut the phone off. I apologize about that. All right. So, all right. So there we go. Now back, back to Chad. All right. So I, I up the saturation a little. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a new layer on top, and I'm going to make it. I'm going to color it basically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection of the child's. Actually, I'll go with this, where this face was. All right, I'm gonna find this color right here. All right, bring Chad back, and now I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna try soft light again. This is not my specialty, so it, it's a lot of trial and error. And the thing with what with, with this particular picture, where it may actually help me out, children generally have a lot smoother faces than adults, so. Any kind of coloring that can bring, um, bring it out, make it a little smoother. That that can help. Um, again, this this is a little too bright, so I'm gonna you know just kind of reduce the opacity of the of the color. But the best thing you can do is always make sure the opacity up top here is at a hundred. Doesn't matter what it is over here, because when you don't have the opacity of the brush at a hundred. It's going to keep using it. So if you do 50, it's going to do 50. And then if you go over that area again, for example, it's going to be that much darker and it's going to look un uneven. So, whoops. Sorry about that. All right. So you're going to, we're going to color it and uh, we're going to see, see what the best look is. Right. Plus, the picture of the child underneath here was a lot brighter. So, I'm gonna go back to Chad. I'm gonna bring my, uh, I get my Dodge tool. Okay. Dodge the Dodge brightens. Okay, and then you have another one over here. This this uh, the burn tool darkens. And the sponge kind of does. You know. Kind of like a saturation thing too. All right. Now, looking at the picture, we're going to see that the, the head of the child is brighter based on the color. See, instead of the, the the soft light, it's it's darker. So I think the soft light in this case looks a little better. I'll just drop it down a little and continue adjusting it the best that I can. Well, until I'm tired of doing it and just say, you know, to hell with it, I'm just gonna post it like this. And the good thing about this, I can always add more layers and add more colors. So that's that's pretty good. tool and just kind of docking up a little under his his chin neck area All right, so I'll take a step back see what it looks like okay see so his face is still a little too bright for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it Use some brightness on him. 
one just to see. No, see, I don't like the way it looks. All right. Now, I'm still going to mess around with this a little before I post it, but I just want to give you guys a brief idea of, of what it looks like, um, you know, the possibilities. You know, like I said, it all depends on how much time you want to put into it and how mu uh, how realistic you want it to look. So, uh, I hope this, this helped a little. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys later. See ya.